Today, I'm gonna to show you everything that you need to know on how you can start importing products to your dropshipping store using AutoDS. Now, this method is gonna eliminate any need for doing any manual work to import products to your store. Meaning you don't have to copy over any titles. You don't have to copy over any descriptions. You don't have to download any photos. You don't have to do any of that stuff because it's all gonna be automated for you in these six different ways that I'm gonna to get to in this video. So with that, let's just go ahead and get started. So the very first thing we're gonna to need to do in order to start importing products to our store automatically and effortlessly is gonna to be to sign up for AutoDS. Now, I'm pretty sure you already have an account, especially if you're watching this video, but if you don't, you can get started right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. Then you can take advantage of all of the automation features that we have so you can effortlessly scale your business. Now, the very first method that we're gonna talk about is gonna be the single product importer. There's actually two different product importers that are pretty similar, and it's gonna be the single and the bulk. So as for the single, all we need to do is over here, run over to the add product section, and then we're gonna click on single product. So for this, we're simply just gonna to go to one of our suppliers. In this case, I am using AliExpress, but you can go with any of the many different supported suppliers that are supported through AutoDS. For this, I'm gonna go with, actually, I'm gonna go with this one right here. It's a little uh, mosaic embroidery one because it looks pretty cool. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this link, cut it, go back to AutoDS, paste it on here. And now we have a few different options. So we have the supplier source, which in this case is AliExpress and what warehouse it's shipping from. In this case, it's China. If you know that it's shipping from a US warehouse, we wanna change this. So we wanna make sure that we choose this and switch it over to the United States. If it is, of course, again, shipping from a US warehouse. So that way, all of the product importing can be super smooth. Now, besides that, we do have the publish to store option. So we can publish our product directly to our store but I don't suggest we do that just yet because we're not gonna be really making a profit or optimizing our titles or anything else. The other option that we have is edit product page with AI. This one, what it's gonna do is it's gonna generate an entire product page for you. And then we have the third option, which is edit now quick. This is the one that I suggest we go with because this is gonna add your product to your drafts page. So you can either edit it now or you can optimize it later on. But in short, this is where it's gonna take you or this is where it's gonna save your product to. So this is gonna be the next screen that you get, which is the edit new draft. But again, you can come back to this later so you can start optimizing the title, add a 20 collections, maybe change the product page or the variations or any of that stuff. Now, in order to get to this page, you can just simply go to your draft section where you're gonna have all of the different drafts that you've added. We can go ahead and click on click to edit and then it'll take us back to the page that I showed you earlier or the one that it took us to directly. Now on here, we can either go ahead and save the product itself so we can make any changes and save it into the system or we can save an import. This part is gonna be when we're ready for this product to go live on our store. So we click on this and the product is live within a few seconds. All right, next up we have the multiple products. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and click on this and we're pretty much gonna be doing the same exact thing that we did earlier. So you're gonna go ahead and paste your link in here and now you're gonna hit enter and then you're gonna go back and we're gonna look for another product. So let's say we wanna add that last one that we saw along with, let's say this gold chain right here. Let's do a little bit of ice for the dogs, right? So let's go ahead and take this one, cut it and we're gonna paste it on here. So now we have two different links. We're gonna hit enter and we're gonna repeat this process as many times as we want. So if you wanna import 50 products, you can do it the same way. Now, one thing I do suggest is that all of the different suppliers that you add onto this, have them be the same. So if you're gonna be importing from AliExpress, import all of your different suppliers from AliExpress. And then if you wanna mix in some Amazon, then go ahead and add all of these as a draft by simply clicking this add as draft section over here and then do another bulk import for Amazon and another one for let's say eBay or something like that. Now, if we see here, we have a little arrow that points up and we're gonna have a few different options. So we have the add as draft, which is the one that we have been going with, but then we can also create and publish. So these will set all of these products live in our stores. I don't suggest you do this because I do suggest that you optimize your products first and make sure you're gonna be in the profit zone. You can also schedule these uh, product listings for later. So you can schedule them for maybe later today or tomorrow or the week after, however else that you want it. And then you can also edit your upload settings. So let's go ahead and click on the edit upload settings really fast so you can see what that looks like. And then here is where we have our different settings. Now here we can go ahead and edit the different settings for our importing. So we have the different products here. We can click on edit. We see our links. Then we can click on edit under the general settings where we can go ahead and add any tags to pretty much just everything at once or add them to any collections. And we also have a price range. So let's say if we set this to 20, right? So anything that's less than 20, it won't be imported or anything that's over. I mean, this is a pretty high number, but let's say, I don't know, 500 or anything that's over 500 won't be uploaded either. 
So it'll pretty much just be within the range. And then we can set automation for our pricing or our stock and our auto order. Now below that, we have our supplier settings. So we can go ahead and check off any of these if they're applicable. We also have our pricing. We can go ahead and click on that. And here we can actually change the pricing for the products as they're being uploaded. We want to go ahead and uncheck this because this is really just going to be the supplier's default settings. And here we can change the percentage in fees. So let's say our marketplace charges us 13% in fees because we're dropshipping on eBay. We can go ahead and change this to 13. Now, as far as the additional profit, we if we want to add anything on top of however much we're making in the form of a dollar amount, Let's say we want to add five bucks on top of our regular profit. We can do that here, but I always keep this at zero and then our additional profit in percentage. Now, this really is going to be how much we actually make as a profit. So we want to keep this between the 20 to maybe 60 percent range. Obviously, this is going to depend on the product that you're selling and your profit margins. And then we can also go ahead and set dynamic profits where we pretty much just set certain rules. So that way we're always in the green here. We can get very granular and we can start to get a bit more specific. And once we have everything ready on this part, we can click on update and it'll be saved. Now, the next option that we have is the shipping. So on here by default, it is going to be using the supplier's default settings. I highly suggest you just keep this one. But at the end of the day, you can change it and go with any one of these three cheapest, cheapest with tracking or the fastest with tracking. I always go with the cheapest with tracking because for one, it's going to give you the, the cheapest shipping with an actual tracking update, which as we all know is very much needed. Now we have the fastest with tracking. We are going to have fast shipping with this option, but it can also get pretty expensive. And then last but not least, or I guess the first one is the cheapest, which I don't go with this one because while it is going to be the cheapest, we might not get tracking just to avoid any issues or any headaches. Just go with the cheapest with tracking. And then we can go ahead and add our products as our drafts. So now the different products that we had in our bulk uploader are going to be in our draft section. Now, the third option that we have through the add products over here is going to be the handpicked products. Now, once we click on this, it's going to take us directly to the handpicked product section, which we can also go ahead and access by simply clicking uh, handpicked products. And what I'm about to show you here is also applicable through the trending product section. So this is going to be pretty much a two in one. So as we're looking through our trending products or our handpicked products, we can go ahead and hover over any one of our different options that we see here, any one of the different products, and then we can simply click on the import button. And that's it. So now this product is going to be in our draft section. So we can either view in drafts directly through here, or we can click back into the draft section here, and then we're going to see it right here. So we can again go ahead and click into it and optimize our listing. Now on that note, we can go ahead and click into one of these products, like let's say this one over here, so we can get a bit more information on the product itself. And then we can import the draft directly through here as well. And just so you know, just as a little bonus, you can create a sample order if you want to order a sample. So that way you can test out the quality, check out the shipping and just see if it's something that's worth uh, putting in your store or not. All right. So now let's go back to the add products part over here and then look at the AutoDS finder. Now, this just really makes everything super simple for you. All this is going to do is simply find the products for you based on how many sales they have a month. So we have the basic, the popular and the best sellers. They all cost a certain amount of credits. And really, all you do is you choose one of these. So let's say I want to do five products. Then AutoDS is going to go ahead and choose five products automatically on my behalf and add them to my draft section. Then I can go to the draft section, optimize them and then import them to my store. But pretty much what this means is that you're going to have the basic, which is products that on average are having about three sales a month, popular, which are having about five sales a month and the best sellers, which are having eight or more sales per month. Now, the last option that we have through the add products section over here is going to be the untracked products. So what this is, is simply a place where you can see products that are in your store that you didn't import using AutoDS. So products that you, let's say, imported directly or you added directly on Etsy or on Shopify, for example, those are going to show up here because they're not tied to any suppliers. They're not tied to anything. So after you add them in your store or your marketplace, you are going to see them here and you can either go ahead and connect them to a supplier. So you can go on AliExpress or Amazon and find somebody who sells that same product and add the link on here. And then that way, whenever somebody places an order in your store for that same product, then it's going to be rerouted to that supplier that you linked to it. Now, the other option is to request sourcing. Now, when you request sourcing, AutoDS is automatically going to look for suppliers for you that are offering this same product like this one, for example. So here it's giving me a few different options with the pricing and the shipping options, everything that I need. That's pretty much relevant and essentially the same thing as this product that I'm looking for. And if I like it, if it's a good match, then I can simply link the product to this supplier. 
So whenever somebody places an order for that product, this supplier will be the one that fulfills it. And again, like I showed you previously, if we do want to check out the quality, the shipping speed and all that, we can go ahead and create a sample order directly from here. And if you do have any questions about the sourcing request or anything like that, you can click on this actions button here and you can send a message asking any questions that you need. All right. Now, the last option that I'm going to leave you with is actually my favorite one because it just makes things a lot more streamlined and it cuts out like an entire middle part. You'll, you, you'll see in just a second. So the next one is going to be the AutoDS Chrome extension, the AutoDS helper. Now, what this does is it literally just sits on your screen. And whenever you're ready to import a product to your store, you just give it a holler and give it a call and you can import anything that you need. Check this out. All right. So this is the AutoDS Chrome extension helper. It's this one right here. And using it is super simple. So first you just go ahead and choose your store or stores. In this case, I already have one selected. Then we can choose any suppliers that we choose to source from. So in this case, I have AliExpress and Walmart selected but you can choose any of the other ones that are supported from AutoDS. Then we can choose the regions, in this case, going with the United States, and then we can search for any search terms for a product. So let's say dog collar. Click on search now, and it's automatically gonna search Walmart for the dog collar, and it's also gonna search AliExpress. So whatever suppliers that we chose. Now from here, we can go ahead and click into any one of these products. So let's say this one right here, the solid dog collar, and then, all right, this looks pretty cool. I like it, I wanna import it to my store. So instead of going the way that I showed you earlier, by simply, you know, taking the link, going to AutoDS and then importing it that way, we can bring in this little guy over here. This is our dropship helper. Click into that. And then all we do is click on the import button and that's it. Now it's going to be waiting for us in our draft section. Now check it out. We can do the same thing for Walmart. So we can click into one of these different products. Let's check this one right here. We've got a bunch of bananas on that dog collar. This one's pretty cool. We could do the same thing. So bring over our little dropship helper and then click on import. And then we can see here the item is being added to our store right here. As you can see, it's super easy. But let's take it a step further. So you know how it's, it showed us all of the different options uh, for dog collars under AliExpress? Well, check it out. If we call upon our little dropship helper over here, expand it. Now we can choose any one of the products that are on our screen. So I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. You know what? Just select all of them and import all 35 products to my store or to my draft section. We can do that as well. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna import all of these different dog collars, but just so you know, this is an option that you have. So as you see, 35 products selected, you can import every single one of those. Super quick, super easy. And honestly, if I were to want to import all 35 of these products, if I were to do this manually, I'd be here sitting in my desk for, I don't even know how long, maybe even like a day or two. And this dropship helper, the extension is literally doing this for us in like two minutes, if that. Those were the different ways that you can import products using the AutoDS product importers. If this is something that you enjoyed, if this is something that you wanna try out, if you haven't tried it out already, then make sure you take advantage of our two week trial for just $1 for new users. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it this far. If you found any value in this video, if you found it entertaining, if you found it informative, please make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. And with that, my name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.